Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? How can the Holy Allah forgive a wicked person? Well, you know, it's it's. This is not about. Uh, I don't consider that this question is a uh, is a legitimate. But the question is, maybe you mean to say, how would the forgiveness happen, right? Because a human being, uh, by their act, they do wicked things. Sin is wickedness. So if it's about how holy God, how the holy God forgive the wicked man, well, for all men, they do wicked things. Men and women. So this is not bad, but maybe you are saying, what is the reason to forgive a wicked who is still wicked? If you remember, we played for you a video just two days ago of uh, Zakur and Yuka. He is giving us how Allah forgives sin. Who, who is a righteous person? I will make actually just a video about this again to speak about what you see the, the problem is the Christians and Muslim they use the same word righteous but Christians do not know that when Muslim they mean they say righteous they mean something else righteous in Islam is not somebody is a nice person no is someone say shahada is someone pray five times Is someone do fasting? Is someone curse the Christian and the Jews? Is someone who hate the enemy of Allah? That is right. The, the righteous is not somebody is good to everybody. No. And this video here, which we uh, we played two days ago, confirmed that. Uh, we, can ref uh, we can refresh your memory. One note is of $20. Hold on. Notes? It is $199. Just for example, that who is a righteous person? Listen carefully. Who is a righteous person? This is not me explaining who is righteous in Islam. No, this is him. If you go right now in the Bible, see who is the righteous person. You will see that this is there is no way that the God of the Christians match in any way, in any mean, in any ethic with the God of Muhammad because the God of Muhammad is Satan and this guy will prove it to you so what is the word righteous mean does it mean someone is good to everybody does it mean that somebody do mercy and the act of mercy with everybody does it mean somebody love everybody no in Islam righteous doesn't mean that in Christianity plus those who curse you, that is a righteous Christian. Forgive, that is an act of righteousness. If somebody asks you on a step, walk with him 1,000. Righteousness in Islam is not to pray to your enemy, not to forgive your enemy, but the following. Listen carefully. that who is the righteous person for me to make you understand i'll give you a few examples number one if there are total 199 us dollars divided into 64 notes the 64 notes if you total all the value of these 64 notes, it is $199. And I distribute the notes to few people. Some get 10 notes, some get 20 notes, some get 30 notes. Some get less, some get more. A normal person who may not be aware of the notes and the value will say whoever gets the most notes, number of notes, is the richest person. No, it's not like that. We have to see what is the value of each note. In these 64 notes, 
One note is of hundred dollar. One note is of twenty dollar. The hundred dollar notes is for a person who believes that there is only one God and that God has got no partners and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Remember, we are talking about what? Righteousness. That's it. You believe that Allah is God. You believe that Muhammad is his prophet. And uh, by the way, the funny is, they say they believe Allah have no partners, but right away they add Muhammad right away to Allah. Like you have to add to believe in Muhammad. If you believe in Allah alone, it's not enough. You don't go to heaven. You see, they claim that the Christian, they make Jesus equal to God. Why? Because Christians say, well, Jesus says, I am the way and no one can go to the Father but by me. But isn't it just what you are saying? No one can go to Allah but by Muhammad. If you don't add the name of Muhammad there, there's no 100 note. Do you see how they lie about their cult? And now, this is, this is explanation for righteousness. What does this have to do with righteousness? So, now if I say Jesus is God, I became a righteous person, right away, automatically, without doing anything. That is righteousness. Just say words. Even if you are child molester, even if you are drug dealer, if you are, even if you are a whore, even if you are a fornicator, even if you are whatever, just say, I'm righteous now. Jesus is God. What does this have to do with righteousness? Believing in a true God is very important, absolutely. But we're talking about being a righteous. How this person became a righteous just by saying a sentence. So, and not only that, saying that sentence is $100 note. Remember, he divided the notes into 120, 10, 5. So, just saying one sentence is half of the religion. Actually, more than the half. That's it, you are in heaven. So, saying that alone make you a righteous person already. So, he is asking him, why the Christians then? Why are you say that the Christians, they uh, fornicate, and which is lie. He's saying, Christians, they fornicate, Christians, they kill, Christians, they do this and that. And then they say, why? No problem, because Jesus paid for our sins, so we will go to heaven. And then, like last time, we have an idiot here says that there is a group of Christians that says, one, you are saved, you are saved. My friend, if you are, if, I don't know if you are stupid or not. Once you are saved, you are saved. It's true. But you have to be saved first. And how you can be saved is by following the command of Jesus. So once you are saved, you are saved if you follow the command of Jesus. And you don't change. Because a saved person is somebody saved from sin. Not someone. He lives in. Saved is what? Saved is to be saved from sin. Otherwise, we do not need a Savior. Why Jesus came to help us? Because we need to be saved from sin. So, if somebody says to you, any other understanding than this, he is no Christian. Saved, when you are saved, you are saved, yes. If you are saved from sin, which means, Jesus says to the women, do not, no more sin, sin no more. If this woman, she never sinned no more, she is saved. Once you are saved, you are saved. If you meant that if you believe in Jesus, that's it, you can do whatever you want, this, this is not a Christianity. My friend, the Old Testament even command that the one who insults his parents should be put to death. To put to death. Muhammad, he called his parents Najis. So, you are not saved if you are filthy. You are not saved if you are criminal. You are not saved if you are a child molester. You are not saved unless you save yourself from sin. And how you save yourself from sin? By accepting the Messiah and accepting his command. Actually, this is what we saw in the book of John. The chapter he mentioned, chapter 14, this, this potato, uh, Zachariah. The one who do my commands. If you do my command, you obeyed with me.
If you don't do the command of Jesus, you don't belong to Jesus. This guy is saying, just say Shahada. You are in heaven. You believe, you don't believe, who cares? In fact, the Quran says it clearly. If you remember, Lili Dawa, he made a video about his uh, girlfriend, the new girlfriend, the new boyfriend, sorry. Uh, What's his name? Andrew Tits, the Tits boy. He said, brothers and sisters, is uh, Andrew Tits is a true Muslim? No. Look, so all those interviews for what? Is he true Muslim? No. He said that. So why you are making noise and he is a Muslim, convert to Islam? How he can convert to Islam and he is not a true Muslim? And he quote for you a verse from the Quran saying that. And yes, he's, so it's true. The Quran confirmed that a true Muslim have nothing to do with a true believer. The word, so, uh, uh, the word Muslim have nothing to do with the true believer. You can be called a Muslim, but you do not need to be a believer. This is the Quran. Chapter 49. Verse number 14, which Lili Dawa, peace be upon her, she said, Tell the Arab, the Bedouin, tell them, You say, we believe. Okay, this is what the Arab saying. We believe. Okay, what the problem? Say to them, Don't say we believe. Say we are Muslims. Allah correcting the Arab what they should say. You see the translation here saying submit, it's a false translation. In Arabic, it is surrender. So he's saying, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. The word in Arabic is aslamna, which means we become Muslims. So it is not required in Islam in order to be a righteous, to believe. It's required to be a Muslim. Are you with me? If you change the translator, you will see that the word submit does not exist. Islam that means surrender. Surrender in war. This is why actually those people they say we believe, but they don't believe because they don't want they don't want to die. This is why when Muhammad uh, died, all those Arab they left Islam almost. And then we have the war is called the war of apostate. What is the war of apostate? It's a war, you know. Uh, you know, uh, against those who decide to leave Islam as soon Muhammad died. The Bedouins say, we believe. Tell them, Muhammad, you believe not. But you only say, which means you should say, we have surrendered, we became Muslims. For faith has not yet entered your heart. But if you obey Allah and His Messenger, you are fine, you go to heaven. It's just obey. You see, they don't believe. Even He's saying to them, I believe did not even enter your heart. We have witness, and the witness here supposedly is Muhammad Aka Allah, saying clearly that those Muslims, none of them is a believer. So what they are, He's saying to them, say we are Muslim. Don't say we are believers. Believe never enter your heart. So how in the world they say the Shahada if belief never entered their heart by the sword? Are they going to go? Are they okay? Yeah, they are okay. Because all what you need is to say Shahada, say we are Muslims. And then obey the command of Muhammad, which means attack the neighbor, get the blondie girls. So my friends, do you see why we consider Islam as a demonic, satanic, ugly, evil cult. It's not even religion, it's a collection of religions. 
even the word cult is not right. Just, and this is the opposite of what Jesus said. Jesus said, not everyone say to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who does his will. Do you see how the opposite is? Muhammad is just care for collecting numbers. Muhammad, you don't care, you believe, you don't believe, you are quirky, you are trash, you are garbage. You just say just, shahada, say shahada, and, and obey me. You cannot do that with Jesus. Even Jesus said to the disciples, don't you want to leave too? Because some people, they start leaving. He said, don't you want to leave too? They said, no, master, they will stay with you. You want to leave, leave. Muhammad, he just want numbers it doesn't matter trash garbage this is why you go to the middle east you will see there's a huge difference between the middle eastern christians and the muslim indeed they live next door you walk in a christian street street occupied in christian majority you will you think you are living in a different country you go to muslim areas you think you just not only move to different country, you think you move to different galaxy. Do we have any Muhammadan from those who surrender to Allah? This is why we will never surrender to the devil. Allah is the devil and Muhammad is his messenger. There's a billion way to know if Muhammad is a devil man or he is from God. From their fruits, you shall know them. Do you think a man of God, he will go after children for having sex with them? The Muslims, in order to save the reputation of Muhammad, they say, oh, you know what? Uh, you know, Prophet uh, in the Old Testament, he married Rebecca at the age of three and we die laughing. And we can even refute that from their book. I mean, at the age of three, are you sure not two? And you will see some people, they start like calculating. There is no need for calculating. Just read the verse after it, the chapter after it. You will see that, you know, uh, 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 Isaac, he was praying to God because his wife, she is not giving babies. Okay. So if he married her at the age of 23, and now she is 20 years after she don't have babies, so why he is worrying? She is still young, very young. You know what I mean? It's very easy to, I mean, his mother, she gave birth when, at what age? 80, 90? So his wife, she is, if he married her at the age of 20, so how he is worried about less than 20 years after, how come his wife is not giving babies? She is a, she is a baby herself, how she can give babies? So he was praying to God that his wife, she would have babies because he's worried. He's growing older and his wife is growing older. So obviously she is not a kid. If your wife is a kid, this is the last thing you should worry about. Obviously she will not give babies. So we laugh at their stupidity. They don't dare to debate us. They go after people do not know about their book, which means their own book, Christians by name, and people do not know the book of the Muhammadan. And here we know them both. This is why those potatoes don't dare to call me. They don't. And they look for a solution, how we can make Muhammad not only the pedophile. Suddenly they want to make Isaac as a pedophile like Muhammad. No, yeah, this is the only solution. Zakir Naik, 3.6 million, 200 life. I mean, who cares? I mean, this is not really... Uh, see, for me, I, what I care for is about how many people are learning. Most of them, they agree with you. Nobody is listening. You see, when Zakir Naik is talking, nobody is even listening. 
there's only a few they copy him blindly and that's why it's easy to get them busted Muslims don't use their head they use their ass even when they pray to their God they don't even pray to him they pray by ass have you ever heard of somebody giving his ass up to Allah I mean if Allah is up why you are giving your ass up to him and why you are saying to him things you, you did not say it is what Allah said imagine you have a son he call you five times a day each time he call you he say to you what you say to him Teradam, 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 teradam. Allah answered the phone. By the way, Allah never answered. You start saying to him in Arabic, even if you are from Bangladesh. Bismillah, Allah man alayim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil alamin. Allah man alayim. Malik yom adin. Yakin abadi mutakin. Adin atratam mutakin. Atratam mutakin. Adin wada dalin. I mean, hang up. Son, what are you doing? What, what do you want? How I can help you? Five times a day, you say to Allah what He said, what He said, not what you said. How stupid, how crazy the one who claimed that this is how to pray to God. You see, when they asked Jesus how to pray to God, He said like this. He didn't say pray this. He said pray like that, which means this is, this is what the main purpose of a prayer. You ask for forgiveness. You ask the Lord to give you, to provide you and your family. You thank Him for the, forg for the forgiveness and for the giving. So the, it's not about you say word by word, it's about what you should do. How your relationship will be with your father. Forgive to us the same as we forgive to others. Which means He is even teaching you there, if you want the Lord to listen to you, You should forgive. It's not about words you say, it's about things you do. Here, it's just words you say, and those words meanless. Allah said in the name of Allah. Have you ever heard of a God says in the name of Allah? So who is he? Allah said in the name of Allah. I mean, even Joe Biden did not say that. So imagine Joe Biden, he go on TV, he says, in the name of Joe Biden, hey, Mr. President, you are Joe Biden. Oh no, I am uh, his wife. No, no, the resident, you are Joe Biden. His wife is next to you. All right? No, not, no, not this one. This is a hunter. So this is a God who is talking. Who he say what? In the name of Allah. Imagine Jesus, he was praying. He say in the name of Jesus. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? And then... It says, thanks to Allah. Allah is saying thanks to Allah. So there is something missing there in order to make it as a prayer. You should say, say, pray like this. There is something missing. You will find in the Quran many places where the Quran says to Muhammad, say, qul. Qul in Arabic means say. Where is say here? This is a prayer, Muhammad trying to copy our father out of heaven. Guide us to the straight way. In fact, this chapter is not exist in the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud. He refused to put it there. In fact, this is not the first chapter was given to Muhammad supposedly to. Who make it first? Zakir is doing. Uh, uh, Last time we went there, he did not do anything. He did not answer anything. I mean, he did not even, he saw my name in the chat. He froze. Yeah. Do we have any Mohammedan? All right. I think we have enough for today. Uh...
you know the previous video we made is very important and I'm so glad many people saw it we have more than 200 100 what is the number now 100,000 something let us see One hundred eighteen, and you know, just to show you how a human being is stupid. If I keep the video called as before, nobody will click. I just change the title and I put a picture, stupid picture, and then we have a hundred thousand in less than a day. This is how stupid a human being is. They don't click at your video to watch because it's a valuable information. It's just because of a stupid picture and a stupid title. This is the truth. Human being is an idiot. You will see a woman washing dishes video, showing her panty. She have a three million. She is not even talking. A person who have degrees and he spent his life studying and he have a gray hair and his beard is long and he spent his life reading books and he want to share with you knowledge that he's 90 years old. <laughs> Nobody watch his video. Bring a woman sitting in a rock with short skirt or sitting in the train her legs is open everybody click they got hepatized this is the truth the world the mankind are either pervert pervert literally or stupid the smart one, they don't count. They are the minority. They are the minority. You know, when you go in the zoo, if you, like for the sake of uh, teaching kids, they say lion. You know, they write the word lion like you. Because the kid do not know what lion is, you know. So lion, donkey, elephant. Hmm? In the word of an adult human being, you do not need to write a lion. Nobody want to see the lion. People, they want to see a naked woman. What lion, you idiot? What a righteous man. What a scientist. What is an education? Who care? Just show us something fun. Stay night at club, everybody goes. Stay sleeping around, everybody will be there. Stay money, everybody love money. Stay God, <laughs> they love at you. So the word, you know, uh, uh, sadly, when you are truthful with the word, the word deny you. And when you are a liar, the word worship you. When you put a true title, nobody click. Nobody see, nobody want to hear, nobody want to listen. Give them a fake uh, image. Something they like. People click without thinking. Because the human race is really sick. Literally. And this has nothing to do with the religion. I mean, everybody, every race, black, white, Asian, etc. You know, if you make a video about food, you will find millions of people watching your video. Food. I'm just the the human a human being. His focus is in few things: his penis, 
his stomach, and his pocket, all of them around the waist. All of them there in that location. The penis, the stomach, the pocket. This is why Christianity is not really appealing to many because it's not about penis, it's not about a stomach, it's not about money. Islam is about penis, which is endless, vagina, which fit for that. Stomach, if you, if you go to the heaven of Islam, what it is? Banana tree. You see the bird in the sky, you say the password, subhanallah. The bird will be cooked in your dish and you eat it. And about being lazy, you don't even move. These boys, when they are naked and white, they will come around you and they will serve you. Yes, brother. That is appealing. Penis. Vagina, a lot of vagina. Not only one vagina, not only two, not only three. And not only that. 72 years orgasm. The orgasm alone is 72 years. Isn't it amazing to have an orgasm? Of 72 years. You go to Zach and Naik. Zach and Naik have an orgasm. You come a year after, you still have an orgasm. You come 10 years after, Zach and Naik is still. I don't know if he can have orgasm, by the way. I, I, I don't think even the baby is his. I mean, the guy, he have no bones. So, and there will be around them boys who they are so white like pearls. He's obsessed with the white color. Women, they will be white. Boys will be white, Muslim will be white, Allah is white, and then they say to you, Allah love black people. When everybody in his heaven is white. Everybody. Allah, the angels, Muhammad, the Muslims, the boys, the women. The women, they are so white to the point you can see even their bones. Through their bones, the, the marrow, which is very sexy. Actually, I was going to convert to Islam because of that. I said to myself, you know what, I did not have a woman, and that would be a dream, in, dream come true, you know. A woman, I mean, Muhammad, he have a very strong imagination of a beauty. A woman, I can see the marrow of her bones. Isn't this really beautiful, by the way? So, uh, hold on. It where is the letter? Okay. Let us see the hadith. Yeah, here we go. Which is very beautiful and very nice. I mean, this is, and here you know that Muhammad must be true. He is worshiping the same God of Moses. Because the God of Moses, he mentioned in the Old Testament that you will have a lot of women in heaven and your penis will be endless and you will boom, 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 dahman, dahman and your orgasm will be 72 years each time and your women in heaven, they will be see through the bones. And what is make it more nice, really? Uh... That when you go to heaven, the first batch is the most white people. Even in heaven, not all people are the same white, by the way. The color will be different. All of them they are white, but there's white and whiter and whitest. Not sure if the whitest is correct. So the first batch is the most white, the KKK. The second white is, yeah, you know. Those are maybe redhead from, uh, uh, you know, Hungary. Then, you know, the less white Russian, you know, they are less whiter. And uh, like, uh, and then uh, the Middle Eastern, they are white, but not white like the, you know, Russian. And then like white, the, uh, all are white, but the look at the first batch. They are the most shiny white people. That's amazing. Don't you want to be the most like a bright like the moon? Full of pimples in your face. 
And then each one of them, you will be so beautiful, like a beautiful star. And then you will have women, each one of those women, they are wearing 70 bracelet, bracelets, 70 what? You know, I'm going to have sex or I'm going to spend the whole day waiting for them to take off the bracelet. By the time they take off all those jewelries, I will be sleeping and snoring. So I went all the way from the earth, from the graveyard. I was bones. Allah put me together. He put the screwdrivers. He put the screws. He put me together. And now I'm going to go to heaven. And then he gave me a drink in the door of the heaven. I became in the age of, of, of Isa. I became 60 uh, uh, cubic in the, in, the, in the height of, Mo, of Adam. And I look like uh, Joseph, brother. And now the angels will came in from my hand. They take me to your door. And now they open the door and you find the woman supposed to be naked. You find her covered by jewelries. And now those jewelries are so heavy. And there are 70 bracelets around her, all the body. It's like a snake. And now you are going to wait for her. I, I thought I would see the mirror of the bones. How I can see the mirror of the bones if she's covered by jewelries? And by the way, why they are 70 bracelets? I mean, what the heck is that? Even behind that, behind it, you don't see it right away. This is, and if you show it, show it to the Muslim, he will say to you, this is Da'if. It says Sahih. It's Da'if. It says there that Sahih. Listen, it says Da'if. Okay, Abdul. Da'if mean weak. Sahih mean authentic, correct. So what do you mean? Okay, we Muslims, first of all, we Muslims, when we say Sahih, we say that if it's talking to Muslims. If we are talking to Christian or Jewish or Hindu, we say to them the Da'if. Ah, so like the great change, the event you are talking to, exactly, exactly. What a demonic, stupid cult. And you know, if you calculate, you have 72 women. Let us calculate only the orgasm. If every or, or uh, every woman is seventy-two years orgasm, seventy years orgasm. Muhammad is stuck with the number seventy. He copied from Jews, by the way. So, if if you have orgasm seventy years, x seventy-two, it is five thousand forty years orgasm before you finish the last one and come back to the first one. This is the organism alone. So to make it simple, just to show you how stupid this religion is, you, you start having sex with this woman. Orgasm is the shortest period, to, uh, you know, in sex. You know? So if the orgasm alone is 70 years, just orgasm, because he did not mention how long the sex is. Actually, he said that the angel will come to you like because, like, it's getting too much. So he will say to you next, like move to the next woman, you know, come on. So if we calculate the orgasm alone is 5,040 years. So if you have a sex with a woman, her name is, let us say, Khadija. In order to have Khadija again, it should be after 5,040 years. If you don't believe me, use your calculator. And then, by the way, all those women look the same. Who are the different? Why I will change a second woman, third woman, if all of them they have the same name, the same height, the same eye, the same voice, and they sing the same song? Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? You go to a dating website. All the women there, their name is Hor. Which, Hor, Hor. All of them, they have the same picture, all the profiles, same information, same age, same height, same weight, same words. Which one you want to date first? Mm. The first one, her name is Hoor. She is 11 years old. She her marrow you can see through. She is wearing 70 bracelet. Okay, well, let me read the second profile. Second profile, her name is Hur. She is 11 years old. 
She is wearing a seven bracelet. You can see the through their marrows. Okay. Uh, let us see the third uh, profile. The third profile. Okay, her name is Hur. She is 11 years old. And she is wearing 70 bracelet. And you can see the marrow. You know what? I'm not really sure which one I should take. I don't know. First one better than second one or second one is better than third one or third one is better than fourth one i'm not really sure let us read the profile number five she is uh, very white she is 11 years old she is wearing 70 bracelet and you can see the marrow of her bones and her name is whore mm. i don't know i think this one is better mm. Well, you know what? Let us read the rest of the profiles. You know what? This is really confusing. I will take them all. Hey, put them all in the box and let me take them all. <laughs> and you will notice here how stupid even the promise. You know, Satan always focus. Sometimes I use words. Like some of you, sometimes they say to me, I love the way you say things, but sometimes you say things which is like, it's uh, it's 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 uh, it's kind of uh, straightforward. Like you say, the word penis, vagina. Hey, my friend, we, are we going to sugarcoat Muhammad now? Didn't we learn that if we sugarcoat, our children can be deceived? This is what it is. Why you want me to use different name? Why you want me to use different words? What what is the difference between saying private part and vagina? It's vagina. He said penis, I say it's penis. So they, you know, like they say, but we are a Christian. I said, my friend, because you are a Christian, because we are a Christian, we should say it as it is. This guy, he said it's a, a vagina. Should I say it's a potato? Do, you know, if the point is to show people how stupid this religion is, you will you better do your job right? Not by sugarcoating the language. Say it as it is. Shit is shit. The excrement. What? What? What is that? The excrement. Uh, what? It is shit. Somebody want to write a book, and he don't want to talk about like he live in the country of Saddam Hussein. He want to speak about the president, but he don't dare to say the president. You want to say the government is corrupt, but you don't say, don't dare to say they are corrupt. You want to say the ministers are, are, are fraud, they are thieves, you don't dare to say. You want to say the judge are corrupt, you don't dare to say. So what he say? Once upon a time, there was a king, long time ago, long time, not now, not now, I'm not talking about now. Long time ago, not like our president, he is so good, he is so amazing. Not like our court, they are so justice. Not like our police, they are not corrupt. At that time, at that time, I mean, obviously, we know what's happening. So, because people, they are afraid to say, they say what they say. Did you see the video of this guy with his name, Patterson? The court commanded him to go to a social school to learn how to talk in uh, social media. Can you believe it, this stupid country, Canada? This is the country. The man is like 60 something years old. He is a professor in a school teaching your kids. And now you want to send him to school to learn how to talk in tech talk. And by the way, they say to you, well, his right to freedom of speech is preserved. The second you start compromise, you lose everything. First, they will say to you, you cannot say this. Then you cannot say that. Then you cannot say if. And then you cannot say on. And you cannot say in. And you cannot say he. And then you cannot say she. And you cannot say gender. And then you find yourself, you are out of the dictionary. The dictionary is empty. That's it. I cannot speak. You go mute. They keep asking you not to say this, not to say that. And because you are stupid, you are a coward, you stop saying them. Ten years later, you find yourself you have no words to say you go mute
They will take all dictionary from your hand. They will tell you what to say. What you know, liberals is the same as Muslims, by the way. It's the same, and they are terrorists too. If you don't agree with, here we go. The court. They want to send the guy to school. This is this terrorism. This is a form of terrorism. They are using law, their own fabricated law, to torture the man because he don't agree with them. That's all. If you agree with him, he's a good guy. He do not need to go to school to learn how to talk. If I am working in a school and I have a salary from a school, don't you think they will fire me second day? They will. This is terrorism. Amazon stopped selling my books in their shelf for two years. Two years. For what reason? I don't know. I contacted them. I say I'm going to sue you. They put it back on the shelves. Two years. Trying to suffocate me so I have no income. I never complain. They do anything. You too. I cannot have a donation here. Why? Every Muslim have donation. Every atheist have donation. I cannot. Because you are speaking against our guideline. So what is your guideline? If you support Al-Qaeda, I'm fine. This is the truth, my friend. If you are a coward, if you are for sale, there's many buyers. There's always somebody to buy you. Those satanic people, they believe everyone have a price. So what is your price, they say. They will try to make you in fear, to live in fear. They will try to intimidate you. They will try to control you. They will try to take your money. They will try to try to take your income. They threaten you. Both are the same. Atheist and liberals and Mohammedan, both, they believe in terrorism. Both. Go and see what the Soviet Union used to do. Stalin, he will not enjoy his coffee if he did not sign in the morning, every day at least, the execution of 5,000 Christians. Every morning. They bring in the paper. How many? They don't even know the names he is, he is going to execute. If the names is less than 5,000, he is unhappy. You know those idiots who put in their T-shirt the, the guy who wearing a hat, they call him Giavara, Giavara, the piece of shit. This guy, he burned churches full of Christians alive. They praise him. He's a hero for many. When the fact he's a scumbag drug dealer. This is how the world is corrupt. A gang leader, a drug dealer, a rapist, a killer, they praise him. This is the truth. And many of us, we do not know even history. So we buy a t-shirt, we, we, we put it in our chest, we don't know what even the t-shirt saying. It might be saying you are a gay, and you do not know. If you don't speak good English, like me, never buy a t-shirt, have words in it. Because you never know what they mean. It can be something very embarrassing too. Anyway, uh, I, I better let you go, guys. Uh, all right, I think it's enough for today. Did you enjoy your time with me? Thank you, my friend from the Philippines. Is this uh, time is good? Like to be very up early in the morning, my time? Is it good or like not suitable for many? Let me later know in the comment. And by the way, you know, we don't ask you to do anything. Uh, 
share the video make a comment like i was so happy to see in the previous video thousands of people posting verses from the bible i'm i'm really proud of you getting those unethical muslims claiming that we christians have the right to fornicate to cheat to lie to kill just because jesus saved us i'm so proud of every one of you who made a comment posting a verse from the bible proving to them that they are a bunch of a scumbag like their father the devil lying about us and this is what you should do with your children don't let your children don't call your son peter but you do not know what peter is and who is peter don't call your son john and he do not know who is john shame on you you want to name him john then tell him what john did and why his name is john you want to say to him you are a christian we'll tell him what christ did and why he is called a christian a Christian by name is no Christian. A Christian by name, in fact, he is an enemy of Christ. Because he gave a bad image and he doesn't deserve to be called a Christian. Wearing a cross doesn't make you a Christian. Calling yourself a Christian prince or a Christian, whatever, doesn't make you a Christian. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And if you do not teach your children, what? What kind of a fruit you have? If you, even your children, you could not teach them. What kind of a failure you have in your life? I mean, you can teach a, 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 like a dog how to do poo, poo You can teach him how to sit down. You can teach him how to play with you. But you cannot teach your son valuable information for the rest of his life so he can be saved. So what do you do exactly? You have sex with the mother only? That's what you are good to go? We make babies, we throw them in the street, and they are become a drug drugs addict, sex maniac, alcoholic, or terrorist like Muhammad. What do you want? So be Christian and live as one and die as one. For whoever believe in me and die will live, my friend. That is the promise of the Lord, and he never says something is not true. When he say, raise from the grave, you are out of the grave. When he say, your sin is forgiven, your son is forgiven. And when he say, you go and walk, you can walk. And when he say, go and see, you can see that is Jesus, the one we know. Not the scumbag Muhammad, who has given us fiction stories about sex and vaginas and penises, trying just to tempt us with our pocket and our money, and the bracelet made of gold and bracelet made of silver. That's not from God. God is holy. His heaven is holy. His kingdom is holy. Jewels and money and gold and silver and food and banana have no value. If God is the one who gave me the joy of every joy, what do you think about in his kingdom? He's out of a creativity. He can't give me a joy better than those silly things which is based in slavery actually because we eat because we need to eat need we need you know what need it's not because of a joy really but god have mercy on us so he make us enjoy our need god have mercy on us he made us enjoy our sex so we can have children otherwise he knew if we don't have a joy with sex we will never do it the race will be erased God, because of his mercy, he made us enjoy our needs, not the opposite. People today, they live for the joy of the need. They flip things upside down. Don't be one of them. Live with honor and die with decency you honor yourself by honoring your parents and you honor yourself by teaching your children how to honor you and those who honor their parents they honor their lord for they are decent don't make babies and throw them in the street to be thieves 
don't make babies to be criminals and rapists and fornicators. Don't. Don't sleep around and then wonder why this is happening to you. Don't go and fornicate in every man. He said to you, you are beautiful. Easy come, easy go. He say it to every woman he see. He is a sex maniac. He's a pervert. A man, he say things to you. He say it to everybody, especially if he say it to you right away. Or the next day. It doesn't make any difference. Be decent. Dress decent. Live decent. Act as, as one. I don't want to teach you how to be. Many of you is better than me. I claim nothing to be good, but I say that the good Lord, he taught us. And the one who bring any other than the scriptures, let him be cursed. So the scriptures is there, do not need me. If you belong to Jesus, live like Jesus. If you believe that Peter and John and all the disciples, they were following Jesus, well, go and follow Jesus like them. Stay away from drugs. Stay away from smoking. Stay away from addiction. Stay away from every evil thing around you. Free yourself. Know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Smoke is not a freedom. Drugs is not a freedom. Sex is not a freedom. Money is not a freedom. You are free even if you are sick, if you believe in Jesus. For no sickness can take you. And no sickness can make you deny him. A true believer, he will say, thank you, Jesus, for the sickness. Thank you, Jesus, for the health. Thank you, Jesus, for when I'm hungry. Thank you, Jesus, when I am thirsty. Thank you when I am not. Thank you. For he was hungry too. And he was thirsty too. And he was in pain too. Yet in the cross he said, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. When you know Jesus, you know God. When you know Muhammad, you know Mr. Penis. In the world of comedy, they call him Mr. Bean. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you and I will see you again. This is your brother Christian Prince who has serving you humbly for today. Take care.